also my recording is quite ghetto but <laughs> it gets the job done So for the mirror project what we'll need is basically a string tie or whatever else you'll need. It could be a wire or I don't know just something sturdy uh, that you can use to hang uh, the, the whole mirror to the wall. I don't know. Yeah. And then this, um, the concrete wall hook, this goes onto the wall, then this goes to the MDF. Uh, okay so this goes to the MDF. Then the string gets tied uh, on there so that it hangs onto this that is on the wall. Okay, and then you will need wood glue. I haven't done this before, so I am learning with you on the along the way. And then, obviously, what you need is your. <clears throat> so I have my mirror over here. It's safely tucked and secured. Uh, my mirror is 20 inches diameter, 20 inches round, and then my MDF board is uh, it's 24 inches. So there will be a bit of space at the side for the twine, for the twining, for Nini. I'm going to use Saiso around. So yeah, let's get started. First, I'm going to start by um, demarcating. Demarcating? Demarcating? Is that the word? I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to um, yeah demarcate the area where the mirror will go so that it's even around. Okay, so if the mirror goes into the middle, right? Because this is 20 inches and this is 24. Meaning the outside, the remaining space out here will be 24, right? I mean it will be four inches right so I want to make that even by just marking off um, the space and then I'm gonna stick this uh, using the wood glue mirror to board and then we'll go ahead with the twine yeah but first things first I'm actually going to screw this in first things first I'm gonna screw this in so that um, it doesn't hurt the board I don't know let me just let me do this first okay so I So, I've decided to go with half of the board, so yeah, I've measured and I've done half and then three, three centimeters in. So this is, these are the points where I'm gonna drive in my, my hooks, my, are they called S hooks? Yeah, so I'm just gonna screw this in. It's protruded a little. Ooh wee. <laughs> Let's see. Let me just mark off uh, the diameter. Let me just mark off the diameter of the mirror against the board, so that um, if this will be an, a hindrance, then I can rectify that ASAP. So yeah, like the screw has protruded Kidogo. Um, yeah, that's where I want to mark off the diameter first. So yeah, let me do that first. If I put it this way, then you can see um, it does not hinder, it doesn't come close. So I can just, let me see. Uh, if I cut off a three over here. Yeah, I just So yeah, I'm going to have to pull this out kidogo so that it doesn't bother the cumber doesn't interfere with the lining and then yeah and then this other side I won't push it all the way um, yeah so now let me mark off the, the difference so that it's an even uh, even what it's an even diameter okay but let me just see 
the reflection of the mirror will be on this side so I'm just marking off uh, 5.1 um, yeah so I'm just marking that off so that I can center the mirror perfectly without it you know looking off balance so I'm just marking 5.1 around the entire mirror so that when I'm placing the mirror so that when I'm placing the mirror it's just it's seamless yeah so I won't have to do this again over and over and over Perfectly. So I'll just do a final. I'll just do that, and then I can go on right ahead. And now I'll go ahead and add my other screw on this side. I'll be careful not to um, have it protrude all the way. So yeah, um, also my recording is quite ghetto, but <laughs> it gets the job done. So I'm about to glue that onto the board and then we'll get started, okay? Let me just cover up the mirror so it doesn't distract you. So I've broken the mirror. <laughs> what is life? What is life? You know what? I'm just gonna finish it. And then it's gonna hang for a bit before I replace the mirror because <laughs> no, no, I'm not no. Mm -mm. Yeah, okay, let's let's carry on. Let's carry on. Send help. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> 